Welcome to Aerobedia World. We will right now discuss supply chain relationship and introduction. Now as far as supply chain constituents are considered, the suppliers, the manufacturers, the retailers, the warehouses, as well the customers, internet service providers, etc. are the members of the supply chain and an effective collaboration in between these two or we may say that a strong relationship in between these is required for the effective working of the supply chain so let's have an introduction on the supply chain relationships what kind of these are present in case of a supply chain now as for this supply chain relationship is concerned or is related it is the most important aspect as well the most challenging aspect of effective supply chain management and effective supply chain management is the lead of the success of an organization and it is dependent now supply chain encompasses each and every activity that all organizations and all the activities are concerned now apart from this We'll have a look on supply chain management and supply chain relationship. As far as supply chain management is related, it is the integration of all the activities that are related or are concerned with the management, the execution of the business related activities, the retail activities and the other organizational cooperative activities along as well throughout the cooperative concern now it is mandatory here to mention that the cooperation as well the communication is very necessary for the establishment of stable or an effective model for supply chain relationship build up now let's have a look on different points or a number of points through which a stable and a more prominent supply chain relationship is obtained so it is obtained through the cooperative organizational relationship it is possible to obtain it with effective business processes and a high level of information sharing it can also be obtained with high performing value system and with the sustainable competitive advantage sustainable competitive advantage is to benefit the various organizations whereas high performing value system is also required for the establishment of an appropriate or a proper value system now let's have a look on supply chain relationship concepts or we may consider it that the supply chain relationships are based on two factors number one is the customer relationship management system and second is the supplier relationship management system customer relationship management system is focused or oriented towards the customer and the manufacturer whereas the supplier relationship management system is focused towards the supplier and the manufacturer it is a b2b organizational concept whereas it is b2c organizational concept influence after this we'll have a look on the various capabilities that are out to be included in case of a supply chain relationship build up these are number 1 strategic supply chain management number 2 supply chain collaboration number 3 direct material via procurement and execution four is sales force automation fifth is sales pitch customization six is managing and using customer information so all these capabilities are out to be present now let's have a look on the management drive that includes 15 principles that are profitable to customer as well we may say that it is profitable to customer relationship these principles include number 1 continuous learning about the customer so the continuous learning about the customer 
is very necessary for the establishment of an effective customer relationship management system just because the nature of the customer is highly vibrant in its nature or is highly dynamic in its nature so there is a need of continuous learning from the side of the customer as well from the side of the manufacturer now handling different customers differently it is out to understand the concept of handling different customers in a different way if service is specified in its nature then it is very possible that the service would be much more efficient in its terms now the third end is the anticipation of the customer need it is the basic thing which is required for the establishment of an effective customer relationship management that is the anticipation of the customer's need if this anticipation is correct then the supply chain relationship is building up is much more stable whereas if it is not correct then the supply chain that is going to be built up is not an appropriation now the next is the focus on revenue and retention the focus on revenue and retention would be also attached with the managing of the supply chain relationship now let's have a look on six point that is the increase of the value for a customer and the organization and next is to present a single face across the channel so that it can communicate itself in an efficient manner the enabling of the information sharing and interaction across the organization and to create business rules to drive the season empower employees with information and training and retainment of the right customer are also added in this category now this supply chain requires an abundance of integration or we may say that an efficient integration this efficient integration of supply chain is in between various units of the supply chain these units are the suppliers the manufacturers the warehouses along with the stores now supply chain integration is considered to be represented as the challenging task that involves the cost reduction which is the most important thing that is to be tackled in case of a business execution now the second is increased service level we are out here to increase our service level and the third is the reduction of the bullwhip effect the bullwhip effect would be in its minimized or much minimized proportion now better utilization of resources better utilization of resources will lead to the proper integration of the supply chain thank you for listening